Hey guys, welcome back. So before I reveal the winner of our giveaway, I'm going to show you how I do my tea bag extensions. Let's get started. So I went ahead and did my first four fingers and I just grabbed a piece of tea bag and size and cut a little piece that's going to fit my nail. I like to cut it just a little bit wider and longer than what I actually want it to be. You can always file away you can't add to it so now I'm just going to go in and make sure it's nice and clean and free of dirt and oil so I'm just going to dehydrate really well you guys I tested out coffee filter tips I didn't like them this was just three days they were chipping all over the place it was ridiculous so now I'm just going to lightly buff the surface of my nail lightly and then I'm going to go in with a little bit of um, kiss brand quick dry brush on glue if you've ever done tea bag extensions before you know that they can sometimes slide on you so a quick drying glue in my opinion really does work best you can use tweezers to put it on um, I actually cut it way longer than I needed to so I just picked it up my finger didn't touch any glue there go them bottles again so I just let it kind of sit in the center for a second before I start going around the edges you want to make sure it is really glued down to your natural nail so I really take my time with this and this is exactly how I do my tea bag tips. I do one at a time because the tea bag is super thin and you don't want it to bend while you're doing your other fingers. So I do one at a time. So now I'm just going to go in with a thin coat of base and just saturate that whole tip and let that dry for a second. And I like to look underneath just to make sure there's no separation between my natural nail and the extension. You want to make sure there's no lifting. And you especially don't want to risk any moisture or anything getting in between there. Nobody wants to get a greenie. My cat is going crazy in the background, you guys. So I just like to, after I put that coat of base on, I like to really double check and make sure that the tip is nice and secure on there. I really focus around my natural nail. And this is another reason why I really like doing the tea bag extensions because you really don't need to file down your natural nails. This is a good way of letting your natural nails grow and you can still have the extension and have some length. So now that that's um, the dry, the dry is glue. The glue is dried. <laughs> you can just go in and cut the extension. And I cut mine a little bit longer than what I want. I'm always afraid of cutting too much and then being shorter than I want. So now I'm going to apply a thin coat of base just to that tea bag tip. And you want to make sure you get the sidewalls really well. And I'm not gonna dip, I'm just going to sprinkle the clear over. You could do a cover pink if you wanted. Or if you soak off, you could go right in with your color. But you'd be using a lot of color. <laughs> so now I'm just going to make sure I didn't get any on my skin. And I will give that a second to set in and then I will brush it off. 
And the reason you want to sprinkle is probably obvious, but the tea bags are super thin. So if you dip your finger right in, you risk that tip bending, especially if you're doing a longer, um, going for a longer nail. And now I will just go all the way from cuticle to free edge with my base. And wipe off my brush in between because it did come in contact with powder. And then I will sprinkle on the clear. I know I'm going hammer time with the clear, but I like to really make sure that that whole entire thing is coated. So I will give that another second to set in. I like to pull, as you can see, make sure nothing is sticking to um, my skin. So I like just pull the extension away just a little bit. And now I am going to go in with another thin layer of base. And how I like to think of it, the first couple times I did this, I kept a regular plastic tip next to me. And I tried to just build the tea bag up kind of almost to the thickness of what that tip was. So if you're going to try this for the first time and you have plastic tips and you want to just try doing the tea bags, it is kind of a good, good little trick to have one of those just so you can go back and forth. And then I will just sprinkle on the dip once again. And pour my extra back into my jar. So it's just a half a dip and then two full dips is how I do mine. You could do more if you wanted yours to be a bit thicker. But I've never had these break. And you're, I'm still going to add three more layers of dip with the color plus the peel base. And you want to activate this really well. Really, 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 really generously. And the difference is with the tea bag, you want to activate underneath because that base and that powder soaks through. And this will really help it to harden up really well. I'll let that dry for just a couple seconds and then I will go in with another heavy coat of activator on top and underneath. And you want to really let this activator dry up. I think I waited like five minutes. And then you just go in and file and shape. Oh, I'm just showing you here when you get new files. Obviously, you can tell these are not new. When you get new files, you want to prime, score your edges if you've ever been filing your nails and you get that, get a cut underneath in between um, your finger and your nail, oh, that's the worst. So scoring the edges of your files will um, help prevent you from cutting underneath your nail because those edges of those brand new files can be quite sharp. So I'm just going to... Um, shape up my nail the way that I want it. I always go for a square. I just love square. It's same shape I've been doing since I was like 15. And I don't like change. <laughs> so I will probably always do square. So I'm just going to file that up with my, I think this is my 150 grit. Yeah, my 150 grit file. Oh, I'm sorry, this one's my 180. And I will just keep filing until I have it the shape that I want. And then we will do our e-filing and I will show you what bits I use for.
for that. So now I'm just pushing my cuticles back and then I'm going to go in with my medium grit cone bit and just go around my sidewalls and my cuticles with this and just make sure that everything at my cuticles is nice and thin and flush. I don't like my cuticle area to be too thick. I just, I don't. And we're adding more layers over this. So you don't want it too thick. And then when I have that the way that I like it, I will switch to my other bit, which is my arbor band or sanding band. And this one I'm using is a medium grit. And this one I will use to go over my whole entire nail, make sure that if there's any bulk or lumps or anything like that, I can smooth them down. And so I will just keep doing this and then I will wipe it with alcohol and apply my peel base. And in a second, we are going to reveal the winner of our 100 subscriber giveaway. So I will be back in just a minute to talk about that. So now we can get to what you guys really clicked on this video for. <laughs> Here are all the things you're getting in the giveaway. Ignore my scratched hands. We have a kitten and he's crazy. So you will get the chunky glitters, the brush, and the five different dip powders. As long as you followed all the rules for the giveaway and commented with your Instagram name, and subscribed and did all that good stuff then your name is in this little pig bowl right here this was my mom mom's bowl it's very special to me so I put all the names in here and my special guest is going to pick upside down of course he did so our winner is Shelby McClure 14 congrats Shelby just message me on Instagram and send me all of your information and I will get this right out to you. Thank you guys so much for participating. I had so much fun getting to know you guys a little bit better through your comments and I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one.